Guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you a video on why I like the pairing Norusaku. Now this had nothing to do with who should have gotten together with who, but more so about my first exposure to Naruto and how I believe that may have affected my pairing preference. Alright, because I feel like this is very interesting. It gets very much in the, the psychology of how your first viewing of something can affect your opinion of it. Alright, so first of all, you need to understand my Naruto story. My cousin, who I'll be calling Frank, was a hardcore Naruto fan. An episode of it on it was on Cartoon Network one night, or Toonami, and I was up late, and I was like six years old, and I saw it. And I couldn't care less. Mostly because it wasn't episode one. And I'm the kind of person, if I catch something on like a random episode when I was younger. When I was younger, I had learning abilities. So when I was, especially when I was younger, I had trouble understanding what I was watching sometimes. Like I, I didn't have an analytical mind I do now. I couldn't just break things down scene by scene. So I tuned in at a random episode. I believe it was... Uh, when Naruto during the Sani showdown in part one between Zunani, Jirai, and Uruchimaru. God, that arc is awesome. But no, but it was during then. So the problem I ran into was I had no clue what was going on, and I immediately lost interest and never tuned in again. Until Disney XD got the right to Shippuden. Now, I didn't really remember Naruto. I, I, knew, I had a vague idea what it was. I knew it looked really cool. So I tuned in to watch Naruto Shippuden. I absolutely loved it. Alright. But then it went off the air and I kind of forgot about it. But you need to, but to understand why I like Naruto you need to understand the relationship between Naruto and Sakura in part one. Sakura in part one is, excuse my language, a bitch. But then again, Naruto is also an annoying brat. Okay, they, they, Naruto uh, is really trying to be nice to Sakura because Naruto's really desperate to have friends. He's really desperate for friendship. But that is beside the point. The point is that Sakura just wants to be with Sasuke. She wants nothing to do with him. Naruto has, has, has a crush on her and just wants her to be her, her to be his friend. So, we run into that problem. And they, they don't hit it off. Like, it's a, Sakura begins to respect him, but it isn't until part two when you see that they're, when you're like, okay, no, that it is just two teammates. These two generally, Sakura, Naruto, feeling for Sakura are not just a petty crush. She actually means something to him beyond a teammate. She's his precious friend. And Sakura definitely viewed Naruto, definitely loved Naruto in some way. We're not going to get into how Sakura loved Naruto, but the no, parents are not with this video with the best. Well, you know what I mean. The point is, is that they do, whether it's like, Naruto loves Sakura the way he loves Sake, and Sakura loves Naruto the way Naruto loves Sake. It's, it's like, it's this, it, it's this like, love of two really close friends, but it's not love. It, it's weird. But it's definitely, a, it's definitely a strong enough bond that I think you can call it love. It would be a familiar love, sibling love, friend love, I'm not sure. But the point is, we kick off with them. The first episode, is, as much as you hate to admit it, out of context from part one, it's a re... Like, see, when you, like, I didn't know Sakura was Sake. Like, I, when I saw that on Disney SD, I was like, oh, she had feeling for this guy. Like, I knew nothing. I had not seen part one. So that hindered me. I, when you, when you read part one and you see that scene, you think, you think, oh, is Kishi gonna go somewhere with this? Sorry, that's my dog. Yeah, long guys are here mowing the lawn and stuff, and that's the dog, but that's not the point. The point is, and that you think, is Kishi gonna go somewhere with it? And you see her blushing and everything. And, but then you're like, but no, but Sakura's never gonna give up on Sasuke. Like, Sakura's upset. Like, you know, Sasuke, he left her unconscious on a cold bench and she still forgave him. Like, you know. Like, maybe kids are gonna go somewhere with it. Maybe Doris and Sasuke when they're getting together. But then again, you're always looking back in your mind, you're like, but what about Sasuke? The thing with me is, I, all I knew about Sasuke was that one scene, if it's the third episode of Shippuden, 
with Sasuke like, hello Naruto, Sakura. Then he comes in and he like, one shot Naruto and Sakura and then we cut to the present. The point is, yeah, my, so my first exposure to, to the character was in a situation where I had no contact other than seeing them in a situation that made me think these two would make a good couple. And I think as the theory developed, I just saw more and more reasons as to why I thought that. And when I went back and watched in part one, I think it gives me a very different perspective. Because remember, I started with the with the Naruto and Sakura are like acting like best buddies part of the theory. And I did I I started with the part of the theory where Naruto and Sakura will get will go. I, I didn't start with the part of the theory where Naruto asked Sakura to go get ramen with him. She's going to kick him in the balls. I started with the part of the theory where Naruto asked Sakura to get ramen with him. They'll, they'll have a little bit of witty banter and then go get ramen and, and make. And I don't know, joke about it and, and like theorize about what's under Kakashi's mask or something. That's what you need to realize. So for me, I had a very different introduction. And I, I realized earlier that though there are being time. If you remember the beginning of Shippuden, I don't believe that statement that Kishimo was always planning Naruhina. In the beginning of Shippuden, and you could just see Kishimoto toying with it. And if you remember when the manga was airing, I'm sure there were people talking like, Is something going on with Naruto and Sakura? Because, because the, the first two words of Shippuden, when Naruto and Sakura are going closer, and you are going closer, you kind of get by, like, Kichi, it's like a red herring. You're like, they could definitely, they could go either way. Like, is, is that the point? That's probably the best point of the theory from the statement. It could go either way. Sakura would be, up until the reunion with Sakura, Sakura easily after that reunion could have been like, well, screw Sakura. That, Kizimoto could have easily written that. She easily could have written that character thing where Sakura was like, I, I, I gave you three chances. I gave you two chances. You 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 tried to kill. You nearly killed. I tried to stop you from leaving the village. You you screwed that up. You nearly killed Naruto, breaking that chance. And then you tried to kill me and Naruto. We're done. Screw you. And then you could have ended up getting here with Naruto. So you have to realize from that point in the series, and that was around when the Disney XD thing ended. And then I didn't see Naruto again until a couple of years later when I finished Dragon Ball and wanted another anime to watch. And I started from episode one of Naruto, and I had already had that in my mind, Naruto to get together with Sakura. And I had, and honestly, then you get to my opinion of shy characters like Hinata. I don't like the no 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 it's good. I, I don't like that type of character. Nothing against shy people, but because in, in anime, of course, everything is exaggerated. And I just, I, no, I never found Naruto's relationship interacting with Hinata cute. I found them mildly, mildly amusing because Naruto was so stupid. But I never found them cute. I never found them really that funny. I found the most amusing part was how stupid Naruto was. Like, nothing involving Hinata would I like. The thing that made me laugh was that the Naruto with, with the stupidity of Naruto. Not the Naruhina interaction. Just Naruto's general stupidity. And and then it just gets on to the point where I wasn't a fan of Hinata. I, I wasn't a fan of Hinata's character. And that led me to taking the stance that, you know, and I didn't like, and I didn't like what I imagined her relationship with Naruto being like, and in Boruto, which I will be doing a video about, about why this, about why is it the reason Naruto should have happened, and Naruto would be better off marrying Sakura, that's a whole other debate, but the point is, is that I didn't like what I was, what I was seeing in early Shippuden, but I already had that influence from the beginning of Shippuden that I saw first, and I think that affected my uh, pairing preference. But tell me in the comments down below, do you think it matters? Do you think what pairing you will you side with depends on where you start the theory? Do you think that can affect it in any way? I definitely think it can. 
that I think the part one contest is very important because that's the foundation of all the character relationships. And if you see part, you don't see part one, all of those interactions look incredibly romantic, where if you see part one, they can easily be seen as a relationship between two siblings. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. Tell me what pairing you support. And, then, and tell me why you support it, how you started supporting it, and all of that. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And above all else, guys, have a great day. Shit. Yeah.